Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. No, I didn't get my hair cut. It's there. <laughs> I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay? Hey guys, I got a Soul Food Express. <laughs> yeah, it's not Express, but you know, Soul Food. I got pig's feet, collard greens, sweet potatoes, coleslaw, and chitlins. Yeah, I said chitlins and they're steaming hot. I cooked them in vinegar, so I'm not adding any more vinegar. But I am definitely going to put that pizza on it. Yes, I am. Ah, chitlins. This is my thumbnail, okay? In case you want to know, this is my thumbnail. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. About a five pound bag and barely had enough. For two meals for myself. That's insane. Barely. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. And sweet potatoes. These are those little yam patties, frozen ones. I love those things so much. Like, you don't ever have to give me a fresh sweet potato. Number one, they're too hard to peel and cut. I guess I'm my last nerve. And number two, to me, they just don't taste like these. I love these little frozen patties. Mm. I got them from Walmart. This brand is called Picked Fresh. But not picked like P-I-C-K. I think it's P-I... I think it's P-I-C-T. I think that's how they spell it. In the frozen section. So, I'm going to get a drink before I pick up my pig feet. Okay. Couple stories. Current events. One of them happened right here in Pittsburgh. Both of these stories I'm about to tell you are crazy. I mean, whoever did it. I mean, the suspects, we know who they are, but they have to be as far gone as you can get. But the one that happened here in Pittsburgh, first there was a lady missing. Um, I think from early November, she went missing in Cleveland. That's where she was from. A week ago, well, actually on Thanksgiving night of all times, on Thanksgiving night, they found the young lady's body buried in a backyard here in Pittsburgh.
Can you imagine? On a holiday like that. Your holiday will never be the same. When you lose a family member, holidays are never the same anyway. But to lose one on a holiday, I think makes it ten times worse. Really. But her boyfriend is in custody because here's the crazy part. Here's how crazy he is. He shot this lady in Cleveland. He shot her in Cleveland. Wrapped her in a bag brought her to Pittsburgh to his sister's house. Dead body you bring to your sister's house to bury in your sister's backyard. So not only <laughs> not only are you traumatizing this young woman's family You're traumatizing your own family by having this body in your back in their backyard. I mean, there's always a possibility that the family was compliant. I'm not saying they were, but you know how people get when they want to try to help somebody hide, help a fugitive hide. Sometimes they'll do that. You know? Oh, bury her right here. My, bury her in my backyard. I live in the woods. So no way I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But if your family was not in agreement, you have now scarred them for life. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Bad enough. You got this girl dead in her car. Driving her across state lines. That's bad enough. If you were going to dump her out just like trash like you did. Why would you do it at your sister's house? You got all that interstate to do it along the way. Not that I'm saying you should have done that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying in the mind of a simple person like that. Don't take her to your sister's house. Bad idea. Well, she was buried in the backyard under cement, but it wasn't covered well. And the police found her. So he's in jail. And I think he could possibly get the death penalty because of the mitigating circumstances. I sound like a lawyer now, but yeah. Seriously. You committed a crime in another state, carried the body to another state. We'll see how that current turns out. The other one, and this is a message to every parent. This is about the fool, former state cop in Virginia, catfished a little girl online. He's 28, she's 15. 
She lives in California. He's in Virginia. Catfister. Drove to California to meet her. Kidnap her. Killed her mom and her grandparents. And tried to take her. He actually did take her, but the neighbors saw him. They called the police because they said the little girl didn't look like she was wanting to be with him. They wrote down license plate I like neighbors like that mm -hmm. neighbors that look out for each other they found the guy with the little girl in the car he had a shootout with the police and they killed him and I'm glad we don't have to waste money on trial for him. He killed three people. And kidnapped a little girl. People. Parents out there. Pay attention to what your kid is doing online. Not only might it cost them their life. It might cost you yours too if you don't pay attention and they get catfished like this little girl did. And a psycho comes to your house. Your whole family's life is online. Remember that. I know with these cell phone things, you can't really keep track when the kid's not around you, but they have trackers and locks and all types of things, security that you can get on your kid's phone. Get it. Definitely get it. My story sounds so wild and far-fetched. I go, oh, that will never happen. It did. And it could happen again. Be careful. And even adults out there that are on dating sites and stuff, be careful. Be careful of the catfish. I was really in the mood for chitlins. I made these the other day. But I didn't have everything I needed from the store. To go with it. Like the sweet potatoes and the coleslaw. I made the coleslaw myself. So I had to go to the store today to get all that stuff.
I don't know why my eyes are all watery. The only thing I have is the Texas Pete. And it doesn't usually make my eyes water. And actually it's probably, <clears throat> probably just my sinus is backing up. I swear, the older I get, the worse they get. This was good. These were the <clears throat> these were the leftover curry pig pit from another day. Going a little different today. I'm <laughs> trying to eat pig feet with a fork. <clears throat> Don't do it. Pick that up. My eyes really watering. I heard that if you are eating and that happens, you're not really eating anything real, real spicy. Like, like Texas Pete doesn't make my eyes do this. I heard those are called crocodile tears. What's the name for them? And it happens because your sinuses do get clogged up when you're eating. It forces tears. I think that's what it is. I'm WebMD. <laughs> I'll diagnose myself in a heartbeat. <laughs> And sometimes it's a paranoid hypochondriac diagnosis. <laughs> Alright guys. That's it. <clears throat> that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Peace out my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon. <laughs>